this kind of question they define that the upper cone is called A and then the middle flustum it is not cone but a flustum is called B and the bottom flustum is called C they give you the length of uh, edge are uh, 10, 7, 5 respectively and then our target is to get the volume uh, first of all it's obviously it's talking about a similar shape then the length ratio, area ratio and volume ratio are not the same but related so first thing is to identify what is uh, similar if you just look at A is a cone and also B is a frustum obviously these two items are not similar the similar thing is A and then A plus B and then finally the total A plus B plus C the cone are similar but the cone and the frustum are definitely not the same shape so uh, we have the length ratio and then we are going to transfer it to area ratio in order to get the volume of B and C later on so slant height of A is 10 while slant height of A plus B together is 10 plus 7 together we get 17 and also A plus B plus C that means the biggest cone is 10 plus 7 plus 5 we get 22 if I call this one is the first one, second one, third one we have L1 to L2 to L3 is equal to 10 to 17 to 22 what we are interested is about the volume so we may skip this part and then we just directly go to the volume we know that they are not the same but related which is cubic so we just are uh, cubic we get V1 to V2 to V3 so 10 part 3 17 part 3 and 22 part 3 therefore we get 1000 to 4913 to 10648 is quite large and then don't forget it what we want is just the volume of B and just the volume of C so we know that B is that mean the middle one and then we exclude A we get the middle part B already so B is equal to 4913 minus 1000 we get 3913 and also we see similar reason the largest one we just exclude the upper two part so we minus this item minus 4913 then we get 10648 and then minus 4913 5735 uh, this part in paper 1 is not exactly correct it's because uh, we just know about the ratio but I don't know the starting point how large is A so and then I just simply assume that A is 1000 A and B together is 4913 something like that but anyway it gives us the ratio which is 3913 to 5735 the answer should be C